The Wayne Hills Patriots back at home after a loss last week during a West Coast trip to Utah, and they're welcome back with a crosstown rivalry. The Wayne Valley Indians came in Friday night for a tough 48 minute battle. Opening drive for Wayne Valley, James Jun takes it around the edge, but he's met by Anthony Puntalillo. Ouch, he came in hot. That's a three and out for Wayne Valley on their opening drive. Wayne Valley dinking and dunking on their next drive, but they get a big conversion here. The fourth and two pass goes to Elijah Lugo. He motors down the sideline for 23 yards, down to the 13 yard line. The Patriots buckle down on D, but it's Muhammad Gega with the boot from 26 yards out. 11.50 left in the second quarter, and the Indians are up with a 3-0 lead. The first look at Wayne Hills' offense, new quarterback Tom Sharkey from the gun, throws it up to Charles Njoku. Oh, now that is something special. Njoku, the younger brother of Cleveland Browns tight end David Njoku, set to play at the University of Missouri. That big pass play goes for 40 yards. Eight plays later, third and goal for Wayne Hills. Sharkey looks to the zone, but it is tip drill time. Ali Gega comes up with the big time INT, putting the kibosh on that drive. At the end of the first half, Wayne Valley with a three nothing lead on Wayne Hills. Third quarter action, Wayne Valley moving on a four minute drive, but this pass by Ryan Michels does not pan out. Jerron Hayek goes up for the pick and takes it down to the 50 yard line. Patriots in business and they take over with 8-12 left in the third quarter. A five minute, 11 second drive is capped off by Adam Abita, who finds the zone from nine yards out. That will put the Patriots on top 7-3 midway through the third quarter. Fast forward to the early fourth quarter. Sharkey to Jerron Hayek on a third and two. That is gonna set up Wayne Hills for another big time play. And this is what makes them so dangerous. Sharkey looking here, getting just enough time. He's gonna find Charles Njoku for the 27 yard strike. Six grabs, 90 yards on the day for Njoku. Wayne Hills up 14-3, 11 and a half minutes to go. But Wayne Valley does not say goodnight yet. Elijah Lugo again coming up big time. Next drive, he rumbles for 29 yards into the Patriots' territory. And the Indians, they will cash in. Nick Tranny works his way outside the pocket, carving out just enough time, and there is Chase Hemming right into the zone. Another 27-yard touchdown here. This time it's the Indians claw back into the game. It's 14-9 after failed two-point conversion, 7.24 left. Both teams get possessions after the score, but it's Wayne Hills who puts it away. Adam Abita handles the first down carry under two minutes to go. The Patriots go into victory formation and seal the win. 14 to nine is your final. It might not have been pretty, but Wayne Hills battled back from a first half shutout to notch their first W of the season. Njoku had a great game with the long touchdown and Tom Sharkey passed for 176 yards and the score. After the game, we caught up with a few Patriots who talked about picking up the intensity after an uninspiring win. I mean, during practice, less mistakes, you have to practice everything, all our routes, catching the ball, all, all defensive skills, special teams, all that, it's all, it's all starts in practice. You know, we really had to push, like we had to push ourselves. We know we were letting ourselves down. I mean, we worked hard in practice all week. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing for us. We knew we had to push through. We found, out, we found a way to finish in the fourth quarter. We fought hard. Uh, it wasn't the game we were really looking for, but we're going to come back ready next week to work. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Jay Cook. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown.